Hello YouTube, Western97 here bringing you a continuation of my Let's Play Kotor 2. Hope you're enjoying Look, the series uh, so far. Not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. Mm. I think she was barely keeping it together. We went through all this at the end of the last episode. Uh, we are exploring the Ebonhawk. Sweet. Upgrade. I guess my computer skill is not high enough. What is my computer skill? Um, eight. Uh, that's not great. HK! Yeah. The best person in the world. Okay, we'll be able to talk and start calling everyone me. Uh, I don't think I can leave into space. Um, so we've got a hangar area with diddly in it. Workbench, always good. Okay, fixing the bits and bobs. T3 even. Another hang up. Yeah, I've got to deal with this wench. Have you come for more answers? There is little more left to give. That does not surprise me any more than you hearing my thoughts when we were apart. The pain, however, was unexpected. If I could, I would have shielded you from it. I do not know. I fear that the consequences would have been more extreme. Possibly, yes, and I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. Goddamn woman. Mentally binding myself to her. If you think a connection to one such as yourself gives me any comfort, then you would be wrong. I desire this no more than you do. It seems that at times of stress and pain, if they catch us unawares, then the pain is transmitted between us. I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong, and its roots run deep. It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. 
A powerful technique indeed, though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. Indeed. And was it the same as before? If my suspicions are correct, perhaps the damage the Jedi Council did was not as permanent as they thought. It is not an easy thing to cut one off from the Force. What did you believe? That you suddenly lost your connection with the Force without reason? Indeed it is. It is much like losing one's ability to listen, or being put into a deep sleep, unable to awaken to the galaxy around you. Such a thing has been done before, when Jedi have pronounced sentence on their own, and exiled them as they did you. Hmm. Well, to be fair, I did want to kill them all. It is possible that such a thing can be undone. Still, even so, the chances of the Jedi undoing such a thing for a traitor is a slim thing at best, assuming they yet live. Our link may have had other consequences. Perhaps you can hear the Force again, distantly, through me. If so, then there is hope. I may be able to teach you, train you to feel the Force again. And if you will not allow me to help you, then other Jedi must train you, or undo the damage they have done. I fear there may be no other choice. The threat we face is grave. If you cannot defend yourself, then we have already lost. I offer to train you to become strong again, to know the ways of the Force. Train me the way of the Sith. Force sing within you as it once did. Then our training shall begin. Whenever I travel with you, I shall impart what I can to you through my words and presence. Ask, and I will answer. These Sith, they seek the death of all Jedi, as have all the Sith since the Jedi Order was first split. Yes, the Jedi Civil War is not the first one of its kind. Thousands of years ago, the Jedi had another civil war that split the Order. It was a terrible thing. A faction among the Jedi abandoned the teachings of the Order, following their own path. They waged war on their fellow Jedi, a war that raged across the galaxy. But these fallen Jedi were cast out, defeated, and they retreated to worlds in the Outer Rim. Over time, they took on the mantle of the Lords of the Sith. But in their hearts, they never forgot the Jedi. The hatred for the Jedi Order burns in their veins like fire and echoes in their teachings. Revan tasted it as Malak did. Yep. In a manner of speaking, they are different from Malak in that they are concerned only with the destruction of the Jedi. For them, it is all that matters, all that ever mattered. It is a different war these Sith wage. A thing of silence and shadow. They strike from the darkness, hiding from the face of the galaxy until all Jedi are exterminated. After all the Jedi are gone, then the galaxy is theirs, no matter whether the Sith or the Republic rules. It is the dark side that shall reign, unchecked. Hmm. I believe them to be the result of special teachings. Their apparent weakness against you is evidence of this. Those Sith assassins can sense their prey through the Force. It is like a hunger. They feed and grow stronger when they are near Force sensitives. The stronger their prey is in the Force, the deadlier they become. As long as you were cut off from it, you were able to evade their sight. But after Paragus, I fear that you will be no longer shielded from their eyes or the eyes of their masters. The stronger you grow, the more will come. I would see to that fool in the cockpit and remind him of our destination. I would not want him attempting to veer from Telos. Watch that one. His thoughts are slippery. I do not trust him, and nor should you. 
Such a man serves himself first and his allies next. I have not grown red yet. Ah, I have gone red. Oh, crap. But I got stuck in the door then. I'm like, no. Talk to Twitty Bull. I mean, um. How's our passenger? She's still aging? Yeah, to you, maybe. I don't usually hear much beyond fool and imbecile. She's lucky she's a Jedi, or someone would have killed her years ago. I mean, how old do you think she is? She may have been good looking once, but it takes some hard living to make creases like that. Hey, I just got out of prison. If we had a decent Navi computer, trust me, we'd be dropping out of hyperspace into the Nar Shadda Red Sector right now. After spacing that old witch, of course. Like we have a choice? It's the only place Paragus had logged in their astrogation charts. Well, if you thought Paragus was dead, then Telos is a dying world they're trying to breathe back to life. Should be there before too long. You can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. So, what happened? Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? Oh yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? Huh. Figures. It wasn't red, was it? Great. Maybe you and that Sith Lord can have a party after we're dead. Must have been something. Sure be nice to have it now. Might make those Sith think twice before coming after us. All right, forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. There's a gift. Trouble! Attention, this is Citadel Station Bay Control, Dock Module 126. Please remain where you are. Lieutenant Dolgren will arrive shortly to meet you. That is all. I don't like the sound of that. If they think we caused the explosion... Uh-oh. Here comes the welcoming party. We may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Gren, Telos Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. You haven't been formally charged, but you will be placed under house arrest pending the results of our investigation. Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Yes, that includes you. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. If you are cleared of any involvement, your personal effects will be returned to you. You will be held briefly in the TSF station until living quarters can be arranged, at which point you will be placed under house arrest. Do you understand? And just yet, you do not need our stuff. We was not part of the cause of the explosion. But Game doesn't let us do that, so... Good. My men will relieve you of any arms and armor. Please follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. You're going to jail.
looks familiar, but I can't remember who that face is. You will be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in residential module 082. Well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. Meditate. Um. Someone is coming. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed. Doubtful, though at least it appears you have some spirit. The Exchange has a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. The Exchange, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work for the Exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taking the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive. But I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. Mm. The security cameras have mysteriously shorted out. There will be no witnesses to your escape attempt, during which I'll have been forced to kill you. By the time the TSF realize I'm not one of them, I will be far from this place. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Hey, leave him alone. You want to fight? Then try me if you've got the guts. You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match to my skills. Right. This is why you don't monologue or get cocky as the evil guy. Because... Suck dark power bosses. Suck dark power boss. Oh look, you died. The security cameras are What? What's going on here? Man down! Quick! Call a medic! Alright, Jedi. I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you. Into the force cage. Cooperate, and we won't have to gun you down. Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed uh, uh, who is that? Is that Batu Ram? Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. We've arranged for an apartment in residential module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Yeah, you got no words for that, have you? Officer, get Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? Let's go. To be fair, they have no way of shutting me off from the force, so... This isn't no. good. We've got to get off this station. We cannot stay in any one place too long, but our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. Um. Excuse me, you have a caller, Moza. 
representing the Ethorian planet restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. He says he wishes to speak with you on behalf of Choro Habat. That's all he will say. Fine. Very well. I'll let him in now. Helping you and are making more money for themselves. Perhaps Choda Habat should turn his eyes to his own people, if they truly suffer so. She intruded out, and she behind Gorupia, when one does, or he see on Gelfa, a boy is that. Who be truth black, a boy is that, truth black, find me go Gelfa. More power in the force, or more credits. Hmm. Now perhaps we will be able to rest uninterrupted. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. God damn that phone! Oh, I'm leveling up anyway. Attribute! Yeah, my deck sucks. Um. Point. I need to stun droid, don't I? Force deflection. Oh, what do I go for?
text on Droid. I know it's a light side power, but it's quite effective against droids. Good day. I am B4D4, administrative assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station branch. I am attempting to connect you with Executive Officer Jana Lorso. May I put you through? Thank you. I will connect you now. Good day. Thank you for accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am John Aluso. I understand that you were approached by Nathorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. Yes, they play at being downtrodden innocents, having come to you because of these Jedi rumors that are going around the station. Oh, I'm sure you've heard that you're a Jedi, one of the last. Wanted by the Exchange, and who knows how many other organizations, for reasons good or ill. But that's of no interest to me. The Jedi, and your standing with them, have no bearing on this discussion. I believe you're a person of influence. Someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians, whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. I'm offering you a job. Work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded. You'd be helping yourself. If you're interested, please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B44 will know what to do when you arrive. Hmm. Their plans for the restoration of Telos are aimless and meandering. Restore the sacred natural beauty of Telos, they say. Just what does that mean? How does that apply to natural resource development and consumption? The proper planning of urban sectors, resorts and tourism? It doesn't. The Athorians are spending billions of Republic credits on a plan with no defined profit. If it continues, they'll drive the Republic into irreparable debt and have nothing to show for it but a few meadows and a weather generator the size of a small continent. That's true. Excellent. Good luck with that messy investigation. And I hope to see you shortly. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. Beauty beep, beauty beep. Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If he served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability for a Jedi it seems so extreme. He has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that he turned away from war, did all that he could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do him a disservice by not speaking of this while he is present. I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. The sojourn is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. The vessel's IND is complete. 
please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station. Whether it's the Ebon Hawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. Hey, everyone needs to get lost once in a while. Get away from something, you know? It's no big deal. Alright. We got a level up, dude. I like how her skills are so neutral. Just in case we come across some droids. Right. I have no weapons, no nothing. I will call the episode here because I've passed the 30 minute mark that I tried to keep these videos to. And so I've been Western 97 and this has been my Let's Play Kotor 2. Hope you're enjoying it. And if you are, leave a like and let me know you want to prioritize playing it over the other games that I play and I do play a few. And in the next episode, we'll explore Talos. Till then, take care, goodbye, and thanks.